aspect of external works or road works in measurement and on today's tutorial guys we want to look at it we want to do very we want to do different clips on this element until we fully understand it so welcome back again to my youtube channel today as i've said we want to look at external works we want to look at road works how to take off quantities of of road works i know we had done a previous video but we did not capture all elements so that is what we want to look at today now this is our this is our plan our layout plan as you can see we have the plan there this is our plan this is the road work that i'm talking about all this is the external works that i'm talking about so we have the dimensions of the plan you can see we have 9 meters 6 meters 75 meters 12 meters 15 meters and then on this with it we have 75 meters we have a gate we have concrete post and wire fencing 200 21 millimeters high we have 12 meters we have a residential house which is 15 by 12 meters and then now on the on the roadwork itself we have an existing road here and then we have a driveway that way and then we have also this is parking now on this place here we have mahogany tree six meters center to center and then on the other side we have grass to be planted and then this is 50 millimeters pcc slab on 100 millimeters sand bed to one 1200 millimeters wide footpath so we also have a footpath now that is our plan so our next thing let's look at the section section bb so so, yeah, th this is where we've cut our section here. This is BB. So let's look at our section. So that is our section. Now, on our section, we have 125 by 250 millimeters curb. This is the ground level. And then we have 125 by 100 millimeter PCC channel. Uh -huh. So let's start from down. So for us to be able to form this, 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 a parking or driveway because this is not an existing road we have maram filling from down here uh -huh. and then after we fill the maram you can see on this side we have 500 on this side we have 400 and then on top of it we have article filling 200 millimeters article filling and then on top of it we have 50 millimeters pitmen and then we have now 125 by 100 millimeter PCC channel and 125 by 250 millimeters curb and then on this side we also have 125 by 100 millimeter PCC channel and then now we have the we have the we have this side we have the invert block now and uh -huh. this is the invert block it's 600 millimeters wide we have 100 millimeter stick maram and then we have the PCC cab size 600 by 225 by 75 millimeters. So that is how our section looks like. Now we want to see how we are going to <coughs> to take off those items. Uh -huh. Our vegetable soil is 150 millimeters deep. The site is bushy, and then concrete backing to cab is 100 millimeters thick. Now let's start by looking at the items that we need to measure. So we have site clearance. We are going to clear the site, vegetable soil, mass excavation. Under mass excavation, we are going to do for the parking and the drive, the driveway. And then we go to roadworks. We have maram filling, hardcore filling, bitumen premix, concrete foundation, curb stones, backing, concrete, that is to the curbs. Then we have the channel. And then from there, we go to the foot part. We have the PCC slab and the sand bed. And then... We have landscaping, imported red soil, glass planting, and then we have the trees. Then we are going to finish with the edges, fencing, and the, and the gates. So guys, that is it. Now, I want us to start with site. Here are the site. So we are going to take the length and the width. It. So let's look at what we need to clear. So that is our layout. We need to clear this site. This is an existing road here, so we, we are not going to clear that part. So we need to clear this point up to up to that point. 
and then we are also needing we are going to clear this point up to up to that point but remember we have a residential house here so we are not going to clear that part but we are going to take the entire measurement that is length and width it and then we subtract we deduct the residential house which is 15 meters by by 12 meters so our length will be 6 meters plus 25 meters plus 12 meters plus 15, sorry plus 12 meters and of oh, plus 15 meters because here is where we have the invert block this one and then our width is going to be 75 meters and then remember we are going to deduct the 15 by 12 meters so let's add them up so that is 6 plus 75 plus 12 plus 15 in giving us a total of what? So that is 6,000, 75,000, 12,000, 15,000, giving us a total of 108,000, 108, and then our width is 75, 75,000. So we clear that one. 108.00 by 75.00, clear the site of bushes, shrubs, small trees, and uproot, undergrowth, and burn the arising. So we are clearing the site and we are removing the vegetable soil. Remember, it was 200 millimeters mm -hmm. excavate vegetable soil starting from ground level average depth 200 millimeters and preserve on on site now remember what you said where we had a residential house it was 15 by 15 meters by 12 meters so we deduct that one because already it's an existing house so detail the last two two items so you deduct from what you have already cleared now we go to mass excavation mass excavation now under this mass excavation we have parking and we have the the driveway mm -hmm. so let's find the length of parking and the driveway so you create a query sheet because the the fencing we've not been given the the we did the the yes we have no not the fencing but the the PCC slabs, we've not been given the width, it's this one here. So you create a query sheet, I've ignored creating the query sheet because we have done so many videos on how to create a query sheet. So you create a query sheet and ask yourself what is the width, it? and then you say assume 2 meters, you can choose a different one. Now, what we need to clear, what we need to clear for the parking is from here, what you need to excavate, sorry, up to here, and then from here up to up to there so we are going to take the entire length which is 75 we subtract the the two meters sorry be, yeah be, when you subtract we get 73 73 meters and then we've been told because here is where we have the channel and the the curb and the channel we've been told there's 100 meters backing to the to the channel so we are going to allow for the 100 meters because that is the concrete that supports the that supports the curb so 100 meters on this side 100 meters on this side 100 meters on the width so if this from this point up to this point is our 73 meters so we are going to extend 100 and this side 100 so we are going to have 100 100 to the width that is 12,000 plus 200 that is 12 12,200 and to the our length which is 73 meters plus plus 200 millimeters that is 73 200 so that is going to be our length for for excavation uh -huh. and then let's look at the driveway this is our driveway here that is our driveway this way now we need also to do mass excavation from this point up to this point that one yeah and then we also need to do we also need to include the the bell mount that one that one also on the on the parking on on the yeah on on this side and on this side remember we have the radius for this side is nine meters for this side is six meters it's also the same this side is six meters this side is nine meters so let's look take the length we find the length and the width it and then we now proceed to to cater to 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 the bell mounts now for the driveway we have 
what do we have? We have 75 plus 6, that is 81 meters, and then our, so that is from this point up to that point, and then our width, we've not been given, so create a query sheet and ask yourself what is the width of the, of the driveway, so for mine I've assumed 6 meters, so I've indicated here create a query sheet, remember we have backing for the for the cabs, 100, 100, and then also 100, 100 for the, for the widget. Now, that will be, the length will be 75 plus 6, that is 81 meters, and then the widget will be 6, oh, sorry, 81 plus 100 millimeters on both sides, so that is, will be give us 81, 200, and for the widget, we are going to have 6,000 plus 200, that is 6,200. 6, and then for our bell mount, we need also to get, we also need to get that volume, this one here, that one, and also that one, this one, and this one. So for a bell mouth, the, vol the, 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 a the, the formula is, for the area, is 3 over 14 r squared. So 3 over 14 we have different radius we have nine and and six for so this side is nine for this side here is nine and this side here is is six so let's proceed with that one so let's book that one. Let's start with the with the parking. For the parking, we had 73.20, 12.20, and then 0 0.55. For the for the driveway, we have 8.81.20, 6.20, and then 0 0.55. And then for the bell mount, for the nine radius, it's going to be 9.00 by 9.00 by the depth. Sorry, the depth we've not given the depth. The depth was Let's see the depth. The depth was here, 500 plus 200, that is 700, and then we less the, we less the vegetable soil, that is 200, that is going to give us 550, and then that is the depth, and then for the other one is 6.00 by 6.00 by 0 0.55, so we multiply by 3 and half, and then there are two sides, 3 of 14, and then there are two sides, and this one, 3 of 14, and then there are two sides, and then you say excavate pits for foundation, starting from strip level depth not exceeding 1.5 meters deep, and then upper sun, remove from site. And then we go to item, allow for necessary planking and starting, upper sun, dewatering. So guys, up to that point, we could have done the first item of excavation. So our next video will proceed to roadworks and do the, the remaining. So until next